my question for you as you look at Facebook and Google in particular, will we start to see a real impact from all of the regulatory questions that have really been in focus this year but haven't started to hit results yet? Well, I think uh, uh, both of the companies uh, have seen uh, the activities of the uh, regulators, Google on a more piecemeal basis, I think, than, uh, than Facebook. They've been uh, periodically making fines or paying fines in various uh, jurisdictions. And uh, I, I think with, with both of the companies, the, the, the regulation is, is more or less a sideshow. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, the thing that has propelled these stocks uh, uh, is threefold. One, uh, it's really the, the best way for advertisers to uh, uh, reach consumers, and uh, digital advertising is now over 50 percent, uh, uh, and I, th I think it's probably going to stop somewhere at 65 percent. So that's a powerful thing. The, the, the second is the marginal profitability uh, uh, model. These people aren't paying for content. And uh, when you get high revenue growth, uh, which, which you're getting, and, and basically very little marginal cost, the free cash flow ramifications are very, very compelling. Uh, I think the thing that both of these companies ought to do is, uh, is pay a dividend. Uh, I think the uh, pileup of cash uh, is increasingly becoming uh, untenable, uh, and uh, uh, they need to do uh, what Apple did a few years ago and distribute uh, some of it to, uh, to the shareholders. But... I just uh, uh, think the regulation, I pay attention to it, uh, but it's a sideshow, and I think if you were to break these companies up, the sum of the parts would be worth more than the market's paying for them right now. So I don't view this as a, much of a threat. Brent, do you agree? I mean, Facebook has talked about a deceleration in revenue, but a lot of that is also about this shift to a new business model that's really more about communication. Um, you have a lot of questions about whether Google will be breaking out um, more information about its YouTube revenues. Do you think all the regulatory threats are just a sideshow? I do. I've been saying that all year. Facebook's up 57% year to date. At the beginning of the year, no one wanted to buy mm -hmm. it because of regulatory. Go back to Microsoft. Did that impact Microsoft? No. Uh, nothing's going to impact Facebook or Amazon or Google from a big regulatory perspective. They all have the same risk. So we've been saying the same thing in the entire year. It's going to be the same issue next year. There's going to be headlines uh, of lawsuits and, and issues. But I think you go back to the core. These companies are changing the way that we operate our lives. And we think that they're you know, critical uh, stories that have big moats, that have major competitive advantages that others aren't going to catch them. So uh, we continue to believe that these are still uh, very uh, valuation, uh, there's valuation support. Uh, some of the software names that we cover uh, are uh, trading the, the stratosphere in terms of multiples. And this is, I think, why Google's up 30% year to date. You know, they implemented a buyback. They're doing more shareholder friendly uh, things. Uh, we, we think, that, again, uh, that, that the backdrop still looks pretty favorable for large cap internet. And specifically for Amazon, given how Amazon's lagged, this year in 2020, we think it can recapture some of the last uh, lost, lost uh, you know, uh, performance relative to the other names that we cover.